I'm standing at the headquarters of the Independent Electoral Commission at Brikama in the west coast of the Gambia. I'm surrounded by a sea of drums. These are the ballot boxes here because the country has a unique system of voting whereby they use marbles instead of ballot papers. There will be three drums at each polling station representing the three colors of the three candidates. The photographs will be affixed to these drums for ease of identifying the candidates of the voters' choice. But how does this work? I've been talking to the Electoral Commission. Okay, it works like this. When the voter goes to come to the polling station after he's been processed, you have three ballot drums and the drums are there. Any of the voters, if the voter wants to vote for any of the candidates, he will be given a uh, token. And if he's voting for this one, he puts it like this. If he's voting for the second candidate, that's it. If he's voting for the third candidate, like this. After everything will be sealed and the seals are going to be caught emptied and arranged on a tray and the, the number of tokens uh, that is uh, the, the number of holes uh, filled on the uh, counting tray will be the number of votes that the candidate opened in that particular polling station. This system has been in the country for several decades dating back to the early 1960s. The commission like every other Gambian here believe that this system works very well in that one it's cost effective and two they feel that you don't need to know rocket science to know how to cast your ballot here. In the 2012 elections, there were only two invalid votes throughout the country when some voters went and placed their marbles on top of the drums. For those reasons, they say that this is the best system for the country.